Hey folks, welcome back. As a YouTuber, there's a bunch of steps that go into making these videos for you all. Research, prepping math, prepping code, filming, editing, but none of these make YouTubers shake in their boots as much as the thing that comes at the very end, picking the video's title and thumbnail. After all, you can make this absolute banger of a video, but if you use a boring title or uninteresting thumbnail, all of that work that you've done can go to waste and you fall at the mercy of the infamous YouTube algorithm. All of that said, making sure to get the perfect thumbnail and an awesome title is often something YouTubers put a lot more time into than you might at first think. There's even strategies around swapping out your video's title and thumbnail post video release to see if your views get a boost in real time. Yours truly might or might not be guilty of these techniques every once in a while. I actually was obsessed enough with this topic that I wrote my entire graduate school thesis on exactly that. But since then, I thought about this problem in a totally different way. The YouTube algorithm is literally always changing and rewarding different things. What worked for last week's video is not at all guaranteed to work this week. So when picking a thumbnail and title, we'll need to balance two really, really important things. First, we want to explore different options for videos, title and thumbnail, because honestly, we're just not sure which is going to end up being the best. It's really hard to predict beforehand. And second, we want to exploit the title thumbnail combo that has been proven effective from all of these explorations. Hmm, exploration, exploitation. This sounds like a perfect recipe for reinforcement learning. And that's exactly what's going on right now in real time in this video, and you are participating. I wrote an app which has given two thumbnail options and two title options, giving four overall candidates for the best way to market this video. In the very beginning, without any information, we modeled the distribution of view growth for each of these four candidates as the same exact normal distribution. Remember that in the language of reinforcement learning, we call this our prior. We sample from these distributions and pick the title thumbnail combo, having the highest value, which basically is effectively just picking a random candidate for now. And here's where the magic happens. Every 15 minutes, this app fires up and does the following. It first uses YouTube's API to get the view growth on this video since last time. It then updates the priors accordingly, which remember in the language of reinforcement learning, we now call posterior distributions for the view growth of each of these four candidates. Then we're gonna sample from each of these posteriors and pick the candidate having the highest value, having the highest sample. And this is now based partially on the prior and also partially based on real-time views, which is why we call it the posterior distribution. At this point, we're prioritizing the candidates who are in one of two categories. Either they have provenly high view growth, which is the exploitation part, or there's still a really large uncertainty in what their view growth is, and so we wanna prioritize checking those out, which is called the exploration piece. And finally, we take our chosen candidate and use the YouTube API again to dynamically change the title and thumbnail on this very video. I'm really curious to see if this crazy reinforcement learning experiment is gonna work, or if I'm gonna end up getting absolutely punished by the YouTube algorithm for changing my title and thumbnail every 15 minutes. Well, if you're watching this video, then it probably worked. Anyways, I thank you for being part of this cool little experiment. Like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see all you wonderful folks next time.